Proud of our players for the way they competed in the game. This was obviously a tough game, and uh, I thought the defense, you know, did an outstanding job of only giving up three points, and that was up for a turnover. Uh, we gave them good field position, so um, a lot of guys really played well. Uh, pressured the quarterback pretty well, and didn't give up a lot of explosive plays, so uh, kept them off the board. And you know, and I, I know that we struggled a little bit on offense. Uh, we ran the ball fairly well, much better in the second half than we did the first. But I'm really proud of our players for the way they competed in the game. Um, you know, I need to do a better job of getting them ready to play in games like this. And we're a little flat in the beginning, but after the rain delay, I thought we competed better in the game. And uh, I want our players to be happy about the fact that they won and enjoy it for 24 hours. I know we got the SEC coming up next week, and obviously we got a lot of things to fix, and we'll work on it. But um, we've actually had four touchdowns, you know, negated this year because of penalties. Kickoff return today, uh, touchdown run today, um, you know, so um, two last week. So all these things add up to um, just how much consistency and how well do you play, how many points do you score. So we, we, we need to fix all those things, and we're certainly going to work on them. Um, but and I know you're going to ask me about quarterback, but we're going to evaluate the quarterbacks that play today and evaluate Jamie Milrow in terms of how he played and uh, decide, you know, this week who gives us the best opportunity to, to be successful as an offensive team, and that's the way we'll go. So, um, but I'm, I'm proud of our players. I'm proud of the way they competed in the game. Um, talk about having your back against the wall, you know, quite a bit. And, Guys came through when they needed to. It was a great job for out. Six minutes and 29 seconds to go in the game, I challenged the offensive line and said, don't give them the ball back. Take the clock and the game. And that's exactly what they did. And I thought they nominated the line of scrimmage. And we got in some close formations because they were giving us so much edge pressure and giving us negative plays. And, um, you know, we had a couple guys miss the game today. Um, Jaheim Otis had an ankle injury, so, he should be okay. K. Law was sick, um, so he actually didn't even make the trip. Very sick, but I think he'll be okay. And you know, Booker didn't play. Um, and you know, Book's kind of the leader of the offensive line. Uh, he certainly helped 74 play better because he plays beside him, makes them all the calls, and I think 74 has a lot more confidence when he's in there. So hopefully, we'll get him back next week as well. What was Tyler's injury? I'm sorry. What was Tyler's injury, Booker? Tyler Booker was injured. Oh, uh, yes, back spasm. And as far as the quarterbacks, what went into playing Tyler and then um, Ty, but not playing Jalen in this game? Well, you know, I think that's an internal team thing. Uh, I think that um, everybody has the opportunity to respond uh, in the right way when, you know, things don't go exactly like you want them to. And, um, you know, we play the guys that practice the best all week long. How would you evaluate the offensive line's performance overall today? Well, how many sacks did they have? You know, based on that, I wouldn't evaluate it very, very well. Uh, some of them were mental errors. Uh, we knew they were on pressure a lot. They got a really good pressure package. Um, we messed up the protections several times. We got beat a couple times. Um, so we need to get that fixed because that's been uh, an area that has been a consistent problem for us all year. Uh, last week with the sacks, this week with the sacks, and you know those are drive killers, and we, we, we got to eliminate that. You guys, raise your hand for me and speak up, please. Austin, okay, coach, how did you feel that Ty Simpson played given it was his real first action with the first team? Well, he did okay. Um, he made a couple of really good throws, and you know we missed a couple, you know, big play throws that. Um, you know, we've been making some of those, but um, I thought he played well. He managed the game well. Uh, we ran the ball quite a bit when he was in there. I don't think the sacks are necessarily his fault. So, um, you know, we'll evaluate it when he wants to come. Coach, when South, Go ahead, Chase. when South Florida jumped off sides to give you all a, a key first down in the last few minutes, were you trying to draw them off, or were you really going to run a play there on that fourth down instead of kicking? What do you think? I think you were just trying to draw them. Yeah, we want to kick the field goal. And you had to get up two scores in the game. Yeah. So. Any 
right here, Coach. Uh, Coach, you mentioned that you were very uh, impressed with your team competing today, um, and also with the big uh, interception there at the end. Overall, what are you most proud of your team today? The way they competed in the game. They didn't play great, uh, had a lot of adversity to overcome, and kept answering the bell when we needed to do it. Uh, special teams, you know, changed field position quite a bit. James with his punting was outstanding. Um, we had a couple others that we could have got down if the Gunners would have done a good job. But, you know, when you lose players like K-Law and um, Terry Honor was usually the Gunners, well, I, I don't like for starters to play on more than two special teams. So he wasn't a gunner, K-Law wasn't a gunner, and those guys were really good at down the ball, catching the ball. So we had two new gunners in there. So, um, you know, but that's the cumulative effect sometimes when you start to lose players, the next guy's got to be able to step up. But we didn't execute great, so I don't feel great about that. But the way we competed in the game um, was, I think, outstanding. Up front here with Katie. How big was the defense on fourth down? Uh, you know, if you go for it on fourth down, they went for it six times, only converted two, that's like four turnovers. So we had two turnovers. We had another turnover where we had penalty. Um, so I think it was huge, especially the field position. Back Boston. After not getting to the quarterback much last week, it looked like Dallas Turner, a couple of those guys were playing a lot better tonight. How did you think they played? Well, I think we had a lot better pressure in the game. You know, we thought they would go fast, which sometimes they did, but sometimes they didn't. And maybe we could have subbed on third down. But our whole plan, thinking that they would go fast, was to play with the guys that we had in the game. So we actually played 41 and 15, sort of, at the defensive ends. And um, two guys, two athletic guys inside, so that's how we thought we had to play on third down. That's how we played the whole game. And the guys did a pretty good job on third down too. I think they were like what, five or 17 or something, which is you know, a pretty good job of getting off the field. Two more, Nick, and then TV in the back. It looks like Jalen was pretty vocal in the support of the guys, especially after that first touchdown. What did that say about him as a leader and still being around for the team, even on the negative Yeah, he did a great job. He, he uh, really has been supportive of his teammates, and uh, I was happy to see that. And. Hopefully we'll all learn lessons from the experiences that we have and uh, move forward in a positive way. Finish up to that. Coach, did, uh, over here, did USF do anything defensively that they hadn't put on the film for two weeks that kind of gave you guys a little bit of trouble on offense? You know, they, they have probably as exotic a pressure package as anybody we play against. And they do a really good job of executing it. And I don't think they did anything different. It's just that the multiples, there's so many multiples that you gotta change protections and slide protections different ways and recognize how to do that. And um, probably did a good job in practice of, of handling, but we didn't do a good job today in the game a couple times handling. All right, coach, thank you. All right, you guys, players you. are gonna be out in the hallway, so if we can hustle out there, we've got something to do. So. Thank you.